Hey guys and welcome to a new short series, it's called Game Breakdowns with Sway. We're going to go ahead and review one game film, talk it through, see if you guys can you know, learn some tips and tricks, hopefully implement it and see your rating continuously go up. I'm excited for it, I hope you guys are. Thank you once again for tuning in. Let's go ahead and review this clip. Alright, so as you can see, this was taken off of uh, Dilly's stream. I was not streaming at this moment, but uh, we're playing against Calvish. So the game starts with a trap onto their healer and a blind onto me, which I did trinket to get a grip off. I look to push in for a fear, but their healer makes a nice fade fear, which is half because I was blinded into a full chastise. But they're not able to get Dilly in, you know, kill range. He's low, but he's not in kill range. So I get the Guardian and the Serenity, and then we look to push in. So we're trying to deny a re-stealth from the Rogue, that's why we're pushing in here. But you can see that neither team really has DRs, they're coming up very, very soon. And the Rogue runs towards me, so it's not my job to keep him in. Dilly lands a nice snare, but we just don't really have a go. He could trap here, it's not the greatest. I could have, I can't fear because it's not up yet, so they're stacked up, not a whole lot. Dilly's just denying the go, denying the go. They finally kidney me and then fear me here's the go on to dilly he actually survives it which is very impressive um you know without getting into critical range but this will put him in a critical range the, the dr kidney uh will force the turtle out there so we're in turtle we're really scared i go ahead and stun Calvish, try to get some you know alleviate pressure he insta trinkets and stuns me looks to win the game but a fantastic kite from dilly here allows me to get a couple of globals off able to top him and manage to purge the ward here we also get his shadow ward death and his fade so i'm able to run on top of the priest and fear him all while as you can see dilly is keeping pressure on the rogue he lands a nice trap off and calvish here is forced to retreat so calvish is in a tough spot he's behind the pillar he's waiting for his teammate to get out of cc so he can get stabilized and then he's going to want to try and kidney or at least cheap shot and stun up dilly to eventually finish him uh, something that should be noted is that as a healer i don't really like to track blind and some of those bigger cooldowns because i don't think it's always accurate you'll see what i'm talking about a little bit later and something else to keep in mind is that look at how we attack the pillar here as you can see, we are spread out. We are not near each other. This is a great job. Pillar pushing. It forces the rogue to make a decision. He is going to go out towards the man that he wants to kidney. And it's at this moment that I feel like I'm going to get blinded. So, as I said before, if I was tracking blind like Dilly was, I may not think about it. But I am feeling like I am going to get blinded here. So before I do anything, I'm going to pre-ward. As you see, I put Holy Ward on myself, and it forces them both to walk at me. Dilly makes an exceptional play. He recognizes that they're walking at me, and he goes ahead and creates separation because he knows that if the rogue kidneys him, he will die. So he disengages and stealths, so the rogue cannot connect. Then the rogue looks to sap on the blind that he threw, and this is a great steal trap. He steals traps Calvish on the sap, into a flare so that his stealth gets denied he gets the full trap i'm gonna go ahead and stun calvish and we're gonna go ahead and secure the victory and there you have it a w with big dilly this has been a game breakdown with sway i hope you guys learned something potentially incorporated in your own gameplays i think there was a lot of good learning clips in this video i had a lot of fun making it i hope you guys enjoyed watching it Please let me know if you would like me to do anything different. If you want to talk about anything, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you again, and I hope to continue to make these, continue to talk to the community, and continue to grow. Take care.